Good morning, fitness fam. This is Crunches and Coffee. I am Erin Taroski, podcasting to you from Salem, Massachusetts. It is Saturday, August 31st, first day of Labor Day weekend. Um, it is about 9.08 a.m. It's a little bit later this morning because I already got out and did my workout. Um, probably going to do another workout today, but my first workout was the Mata Mile, which is my last of Go Rock's four monthly challenges for the month of August. If you complete these on your honor system, you got a patch. You could theoretically, if you haven't done them yet, you could bang them all out today. It would probably take you about two or three hours depending on your fitness level and your stamina. Uh, but you could do that and I'll put a link to the workout in the description for this video. So if you wanna try to do that or if you need to catch up, great, go for it. Today's workout was four stations. Oh, what did I do? It was uh, squats were the first one and then uh, what, a three minute plank hold and then lunges and then flutter kicks. So you do each of those for three minutes. You do a quarter mile ruck in between and then you finish up with a one mile ruck with your uh, with a sandbag. So I did 30 pounds in my ruck, 55 in my sandbag. Ended up doing about two and a quarter miles rucking total between getting to and from the park where I did the workout. So it was a good way to start my day. It took me, I think about about an hour, a little bit less than an hour. Um, but I took some photo breaks along the way because it was so pretty this morning and I was right on the ocean and I had to take some pictures for the gram. So uh, check out my Instagram. It's eturuksky, E-T-U-R-U-C-K-S-K-I. There's some photos on there. It was a good morning. So what do you have planned for Labor Day? I know a lot of people are going to do barbecues, earn your calories, go out, do something, go for a run. I'm going to probably go for a longer ruck later just to train up a little bit more. Next weekend is the HTL in New York to commemorate the 9-11 attacks. So this is my last good training weekend before that. So I'm going to plan to put in a good long rock this afternoon. Probably get some knitting done because that's my jam. Uh, the other thing I have planned for today is this. It is opening day for Ohio State football. We are playing uh, Florida Atlantic, I believe, at noon. It's on Fox. It's one of the only reasons I watch Fox, but I will watch it for football. And it's going to be an interesting year for us. Uh, we got a new coach, Ryan Day. He's a former uh, offensive coordinator, I believe, uh, quarterback coach. So uh, he's actually from New Hampshire, which is funny because I'm talking to you from Salem, Massachusetts, and Manchester, New Hampshire is like an hour away. So that's funny to watch a local guy from up here coaching my team now. So very fun memories of Ohio State. It was so nice. I went there twice, got my undergrad and my uh, that school degree from there and I have a lot of good memories of classes and parties and fun and working out at the RPAC and uh, Jesse Owens and good stuff. I had a lot of fun at Ohio State. Go Buckeyes! Um, so yeah, today we've got a three-day weekend. Um, if you have to work this weekend, I'm sorry. I've certainly put in my share of holiday weekend work as a veterinarian. Uh, fortunately, I have this one off so I am taking advantage, like I said, to train up get some time outside. It's lovely. It's mild. It's supposed to be, I think, in the 70s and 80s and pretty sunny for, for most of the weekend. So it should be some really good opportunity to get out, get some fresh air, get some sunshine, earn some sweat. Oh, the coffee today. So this is my recovery drink after my workout. It is a coffee protein shake. Uh, the rough recipe is in a blender, about four cups of cold leftover coffee from yesterday. <laughs> and a cup total of uh, sugar-free almond milk and fat-free half and half, and then four to five good scoops of chocolate protein powder, a couple ice cubes if you want, blend it till it's smooth. I'll drink this for a couple days and it's pretty good. It just, it gets you some caffeine and it gets you some calories and it uses up your old coffee because it's just me. I'm not gonna drink a whole pot in a day. My heart would explode if that were the case. So. Yeah, that's what I have planned. Um, I know there's a lot of other people up here in Boston who are also training up. I think there's about 10 of us going down for the HTL next weekend. So shout out to all my Beantown Rock Club people, Tina, Ben, Nick, I think Spencer's going, um, Zach, and the New York peeps too. It's going to be an awesome weekend. I am so excited. It's going to suck so much, but it's going to be great. And hopefully at the end, we all earn our, we all earn our, earn our bolts and our patches and it's gonna be a good time. So, But this weekend is all about training, getting those last few good week workouts in and uh, burning some calories and earning some sweat equity before it's time to taper for the week. So should be good, should be real good, I'm excited. 
Uh, what do you have going on this weekend? If you've got a good workout planned, you know, check out the Mad a Mile. I'll put the descript I'll put the link in my description. If you have any nice rucks planned or any fun runs or any good workouts for the the Labor Day holiday like themed workouts, put them in the comments. I'd love to see them. Uh, otherwise, if you like what I'm doing here, remember to like, subscribe, tell your friends, check me out on Instagram. Uh, it's good stuff, and I'm just trying to get you guys motivated so that you can be your best fitness self, and uh, it helps to keep me on track, too, by talking to you guys. So uh, with that, I'm going to wrap up. Um, like I said, workouts in the description, and uh, in the meantime, have a great weekend. Happy Labor Day. Go Bucks, and go out and do something good for your body today. Bye.